Hey everybody, BSUJ here, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Monsters 2. On the last episode, we finished up everything in the pirate world, got really badly lost trying to find the next key, so I decided to do a little bit of off-screen leveling. As you can see, I have actually bred Lig a couple of times, he has some new skills, and is now level 8, and I think we are strong enough to take on the C cup. For some reason, I think something's going to happen if I clear that. We tried it last time, didn't have any luck. But let's see what happens now. First things first, let's give him the mermaid scale. Pull up his defense a little bit. Here are his stats as of now. Much stronger than he was before. He also has... He still has Bang. He has Ice Bolt, which is an ice version of Bang. Nap Attack is a physical hit that can sometimes cause sleep. Lush Licks makes the enemy lose a turn, which isn't going to be used. Numb Off cures Paralysis, and I think Sleep as well. I'm not sure if they had that ability in this game, but is also probably not going to be very useful because if Lig's the one that has to use it, then he's already paralyzed and can't use it. So let's try C Cup. Alright, I have to talk to this lady. Alright, you can already see his higher stats coming into play. Okay, let's have him not use any skills because his physical attack's higher. Alright, that was pretty easy. Battle 2! Ready, go! Alright. Alright, let's just have him do regular attacks, because that seems to be the way to go. That's amazing! Is this true? The challenger wins battle two! This decides the champion! Final battle! The teams are ready to go! The fans are ready to go! Heck, I'm ready to go! Let's hear it for round three! Oh. I think I might have leveled up a little bit too much! <laughs> That was very easy, that was easy. The C-Class Champion Party is Master J! <laughs> Let's hear it for the champion! Congratulations, you did it! You've won the C-Class. Here's your prize, a magic key! So magic keys are special items, they don't go in your inventory. But instead, you can bring them to the appraisal shop. Welcome to my key shop. Should I appraise your keys? Which key would you like me to appraise? 
The fee will be 190 gold. Would you like me to save? I've never saved. Let's see the magic key then. Hmm. Ah, oh, I got it. This is the first moon key. That's the only magic key you have right now. Come back if you find any more. Okay, so now we have the key to the magical first moon realm. Magic keys will offer randomly generated worlds. The layout of the world is relatively basic, but the name of the key dictates the letters and monster, the level and monsters that appear there. Hang on, let me just give my... Oh, I have to have the mana go for in my party? Alright. Unfortunately, it seemed like clearing the sea class. <coughs> it seems like clearing the sea class cup didn't progress the story at all. Okay, dig, dug, dig, dug, dig, dig, dug, dig, dug, dig, dug. What's wrong, Red Mole? Did you find something? Hey, a magic key. That's great work. Here, Jay. You'll need this. Oh. Alrighty! Be careful when you're traveling in other worlds. So that's where you get the ice key, apparently. Alright, I thought that was just to expand the farm, because I know there is something you gotta do with that. Uh, let's go to the magic key world first, actually. So I can show it off. Ice. <laughs> okay. First moon. M first, the f the uh, first word in the our case first dictates the monster's level. In this case, first is very low. It goes through colors and stuff like that until it goes up to last. Hmm. I'm not sure every breakdown off the top of my head, but first is weak. The second word dictates the kinds of monsters you'll find there. I believe moon is devils and birds? But enough talking. Let's get to a inward to combat! As you can see, we don't have a map. This map will be filled in as we explore the world. In every world visited, visited using a praised magic key, you'll see monster bosses exerting rule. Unless they are defeated, no monster will dare to join you. Fear of their bosses keeps them from acting on their own. That's why you must defeat bosses first and befriend wild monsters. What this man says is absolutely true. Monsters will not join your party until you've beaten the boss of... I believe there's one boss on every island and then... A separate boss for the entire world. If you can find and beat the world boss first, the other two bosses will disappear. When I grow up, I'm going to take over my dad's job as a dealer. He travels from town to town. I study monsters in other worlds. I'm intrigued by your monsters. And this is an item shop. Oh, a potion. I need that. Unfortunately, I'm broke. Hmm. Oh, I have two of these? I only need one. Let's see, I can sell the rib. Let's get out into this world. And as you can see, our little seashell does not work here. Oh, a priest. Occasionally you'll find guys like this on the world map. 
They all have a different effect that will give you something if you can beat them in battle, but they're usually pretty hard. I think they'll randomly appear whenever you transition to a new screen. Priests, in this case, will heal your party if you can beat them. I don't think we need that right now. Okay, so it looks like we got materials, and I forget what the pixie is. Whoa! We are not supposed to be here yet. That pixie hits very hard. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we won't be going to uh, first moon yet. So instead, I suppose we'll be going over to the ice world. There is an infinite number of magic keys. Sometimes even in magic key worlds you can find other magic keys. And here's the ice world. This is Norden, the Kingdom of the North. There are three kingdoms situated around the lake. They are to the north, east, and west. Travel north along the and you will find a spring. An elemental sp spirit with a great beauty, blah, 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 blah. She is supposed to be a kindly spirit who watches over people. I'd like to see her before I die. The winter here is harsh. Stay outside and your eyelashes will freeze and clamp your eyes shut. They'll also stab you. Imagine getting stabbed by your own eyelashes. Around these parts, we get a lot of star spuds in our food. They're sort of like potatoes, but they grow by the light of the stars. They're gifts from the spirit. Log navel. They're just spuds. It's become much colder. We may need the help of the spirit again to break the cold spell. His Majesty is in talks with the Western Kingdom's representatives. He has no time to deal with a child. Well, there was another kid, but he came to be a prince somewhere. We had to let him through. The mine on the western border is closed right now. It'll reopen when the trouble is solved. So already we can see that the prince is here, and there's something going on. Hmm. Totally unheard of. Everyone's been acting strangely since they found gold in the mine. Even the king has changed. Ugh, those western wretches. The mine on the border is a rich vein of pure gold. We should dig it up before the westerners take it. The spring in the north, where the elemental lives, has frozen. It has never done that before, even in the worst cold spells. The spring froze when the gold was found. Could it be mere coincidence? Listen, did you hear? They found the gold on the border with the kingdom in the west. The northern kingdom found it first, but the western kingdom is trying to hoard all the gold. Have you heard about the spear as in the spring? Many years ago, our ancestors came to this land after a long journey. They were in a precarious state because of the vicious cold. The spring spirit took pity on them and used her power to melt the ice and relieve the cold. Since then, the spirit has never appeared before us, but she still watches over us with compassion. Welcome! How may I serve you today? Let's buy some... Wow, these are more expensive here. I'd like to. Alright, let's get out of there. So, to the north is the spring. 
There's also a mountain in our way, so I think going there might be our best bet. I am surprised that you hear me. You are from this world. I am the elemental spirit who guards over this world. At least I did. I had lost my power, you see. I was rebuilding it to make my return to the people, but some being cast a shadow over the hearts of them. Even my spring finally froze. If peace returns to the souls of people, I too will be saved. I sense that you have a magical power. Will you restore my peace to people? No words of thanks will ever be enough for what I feel. If you restore this world to peace, I will give you the Sky Shield. Take this crest. It shows that you act as my envoy. It will let you into castles. Alright, so now we have the Elemental Crest. And we can use that to get into the castle. Ah, good. Those things can be pretty tough sometimes. Whoa, that's a lot of experience for two enemies. Pien! Alright, let's get back to town real quick. What is that dirty metal? The spirit's crust! You're an envoy? I beg your pardon. Ah, you're the spirit's envoy. His majesty is beyond here. I ask that you be on your best behavior. You're an envoy? Well, no matter. We had started mining the mountains on the border first. The west comes along later and demands mining rights. Ha! The brazen nerve of them! This problem is solved by the West, abandoning their frivolous claim. Until then, the border is closed. His Majesty has been cranky. Is the trouble at the mine weighing heavily on his mind? The mine mind? So, it seems that we're going to have to trek over to the West and try and make peace between... After the gold discovery, our relationship with the West soured. It might lead to war. Ugh. We need to make peace between these guys, long story short. I remember the king to be placid, but he has been working hard as if he was possessed of late. Might be a little bit more on the nose than you think, sir. <laughs> Alright, so I'm believing that this little town over here, in the middle, is the lake. So let's get over there. Oh, yeah, we Four more of those fights and they will level up again. Okay, take out the hammer man first. And as we can already see, some of this water here is frozen. I actually, oh, I actually don't think we can get into the middle yet, right now, anyway. We have to wait for everything to thaw. 
Which happens once we clear everything. No items. That's weird. Oh, there's like some sort of pass. Our tunneling found gold, but we also ran into the tunnel. The west was boring from the other side. Both sides have laid to the claim that the gold and refuse to concede. That's why I have this standoff. This is the border we share with the Western Kingdom. The cave you see there is the mine in which the gold was discovered. The border has been shielded by the King's orders until the West recognizes the mine to be ours. A traveler, are you? Sorry, but I can't allow you to pass. The West is beyond here, but they've also been digging from their side. So our hole and their hole ended up linking in the mountain. It's a sticky little mess. Let's see what's going on in here. Get up. Whoa! The Northerners muzzled in on the gold mine that we discovered. Can you understand the arrogance? The Northerners went on our gold. There's no trusting the greedy scum. They must be conspiring to take our land, too. I just know it. This side is the Western Kingdom. You've come from the other side. You're from the North. Be gone. Surface. Oh, mummy. Whoops. Level up! This is bad, I don't need to buy more. Kid, you have guts to be here. That's all you say? Thank you. Ooh, I'll bring. Monster was defeated! Defeated was the monster! The vein of gold is just ahead! Hurry! It's winner take all! Alright, well, I think you guys can see what our mission is. Find that staircase. Wow, these monsters are giving a lot of experience now. Heh, <laughs> you come way down deep. The monsters are tough down here. The gold is ours! The West must not get their hands on it! Hurry, we're almost there! Hurry, we have to beat the swine off the West of the mine! The mine swine! Ugh, I forgot about drolls. I was hoping I could stay forgotten about. Getting so much experience. Don't you touch that! If you had only dreamt of the gold like the fools outside, just sneaking around isn't good for our plans. You'll have to go. I think we can tame him.
Let's try. Oh god. Oh, does he not explode? Let me slow this down a little bit. Okay. So he's sleeping now. So if we alternate between sleep attack and the regular attack, we shouldn't have any problems. Cool. Those things can explode, and they're very scary. What does Informer do? Darn! Take this! Kamikaze! What? Oh, that explosion! The dust there. Is that gold? What? That's all there was? You mean to tell me that we've been acting like these loggerheads over just that? We'd better get word to the king. That's true, I've got to... I have to tell my king the news! What does Informer do? Use to obtain information on monsters. Huh. Do I have an exit bell? Alright, let's get back to the town. Oh, a cave. We'll explore the cave in a little bit. Oh boy, this isn't the way back to town. Axe Koala! We reported to the king that the mine had no gold to start with, but he refuses to believe us and blames the West for stealing the gold. Perhaps you can speak to him? What is it, you whelp? You claim that the mine had no gold? You dare question my authority? You're no envoy of the spirit! You must be a Western spy! You can rot in the dungeon! Oh, save at last! The two of us were trapped alone. I'm the real king. The one on my throne is a vile imposter. I was abducted in my sleep and held captive down here. I tried to escape, but the exit has been sealed. It, will, it was closed up recently, but I have no idea where to find it. Where's the exit? We'll starve down here if we don't find the way out soon. Boy, that was fast! Oh, I guess the tile is a little different. So that's where the exit is! Jay, here, stand aside! Yeah! That's it. I'll go on ahead. I'm the real king, you fake! What? How dare you, imposter? I'm the real king! I'm real, don't believe him! I'm the real one, don't you believe me? 
Am I dreaming? Two kings? Why are there two kings? After the gold discovery, our relationship with the West had soured. Oh, this is the same guy as before. I remember the king. Yep. So you guys aren't changing your dialogue much. There is a certain item that we're going to get that's going to take care of this for us. Oh, let's check these vases. Lumpy potatoes! My favorite! And a tiny metal. Nice. Alright, let's pop in the end. Barely have any money. Good morning and farewell. The border is closed, so I can't get to the Western Kingdom. That's the only way to cross the mountains, though. Oh, what a headache. All right, everybody. That's gonna about wrap up this episode. Let's just take care of this guy. Um, let's sell... Uh, the warp staff. One, so the pork chops. The moon herb we're going to need. The laurel, I don't think. And. Let's buy color. Alright. That's gonna wrap up for this episode. Catch you next time. We're going to explore that cave we found and see if we can make any leeway on this situation with the kings. Alrighty, I was BSGJ signing off. Remember, at Big Shark Gaming, we don't just set the bar, we are the bar! Yar, yar.